What's going on fellow YouTubers? It's your boy Samurai. We're back to the channel here with another reaction. First of all, just want to thank you guys so much for finally getting me to 1000 subscribers. I know for a lot of people that's not much, but for me it just makes me happy to see that my channel has grown so much in such a little sh short amount of time and i have started my patreon if you guys would like to see any exclusive content and any uncut unfiltered unedited videos they will all be uploaded there in fact i already have a few videos uploaded including my first tool album reaction for opiate so if you guys would like to check that out please go check out my patreon it's only three dollars a month if you're so willing to subscribe that would be uh, very great for myself and the channel included so if you guys are new to the channel my name is samurai kaido i'm a musician audio engineer producer music lover all sorts of things and on my reactions at least i try to give you my honest opinions i don't try to cater to everyone i just give you my real thoughts and sometimes that may um upset a few people but it, you know i'm not gonna sit here and lie about what i feel about the songs so just keep that in mind but that's pretty much it guys today will be my first time listening to gojira i've known about this band for a while but i, I never actually listened to them i think they're a little bit on the heavier side which is not usually my cup of tea so i think that might be why i have never checked them out but there's also a bunch of bands out there that i've always wanted to check out and i never did so um yeah, anyway, so you guys know that if I'm listening to somebody I, I've never heard before, then I'm going for their most popular song. And Silvera, Silvera was one of the ones that I saw here. So um, this is the one we're going to go with. Um, yeah, so I hope this is a, a good song. If not, you guys let me know. Well, you guys will let me know either way down in the comments which song I should react to next. And I will get to it eventually. Um, but hopefully this one is interesting enough. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this.
I start off actually by saying that this style of music is a little bit too much for me most of the time. And actually when the song started, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to go down the same route. And a lot of you guys that have been following the channel, maybe you are aware of some of my videos. That possibly upset some people just due to the fact that I didn't like the song because it was a little bit too heavy for me. Mostly due to the vocals and everything. And I mean, his vocal delivery kind of almost gets to that range where I, I'm not really a fan of because it's just a little bit too much for me. But it like they like they stop at the perfect place for for me in terms of my musical taste and everything. Like they went really heavy, but it's not too heavy to the point where I can't enjoy this. So that's what I really appreciated. Honestly, this song there was really no part of it where I didn't like anything of it. Um, I just like to write down notes here just so I don't um, lose my place. And then sometimes I just don't stop these shorter songs because, I mean, I, you know, some, some of these songs just, I feel like I just play all the way through and then just leave my comments for the, for the end. If it's a really long song, then I will be pausing it here and there to give you some thoughts. But uh, I thought the song overall was very melodic, which I always enjoy. I love things that have um, not necessarily catchy melody, but something that grabs your ear, that you gravitate towards. Um, and obviously, the guitar riff and the, the, the drum work are a really key driver of the song in terms of the aggressiveness and the push for it to be um, so in your face. So obviously that played a big part in this song as well, which I honestly liked as well. Um, I thought the drums were really well mixed in this. They weren't too loud, weren't too low. Shout out to the vocalist also. Uh, uh, his delivery was, like I said, very um, gritty, powerful, almost kind of screaming, but very controlled. One thing that stood out to me as well was his harmonies that he would sing during like the chorus part, specifically when um, when you change yourself, you change the world. Very beautiful harmonies, at least three part harmonies, but possibly more. The bass, I often have a hard time hearing the bass when it comes to heavier music like this. Partially, I think, because much of it is tuned down to a certain level where it's, in terms of the guitar, wherever it's, you're almost reaching that bass range, you know, like these guys go drop C, drop D, all this type of shit, which, um, you know, it's, it's damn near bass level. And then you, you have seven, eight, nine string guitars now. So I think a lot of times the bass and the guitar kind of get jumbled a little bit due to that. But also it could be that I'm just not used to hearing this sound of this um, sort of music, so I'm not used to picking out the bass and the guitar. Um, the only times that I can hear the bass was when the bassist would do some slides, either up or down. You could really hear it then, but other than that, I think it was mostly there just to fatten up the groove, fatten up the song because it's really hard to hear, at least in my opinion. That might be done on purpose, I don't really know. Um, let's see, what else? Um, the lyrics here were interesting. I think the, the first stanza here, um, I'm looking up because that's where the lyrics are. I think you guys probably know that at this point. I think the first stanza is pretty straightforward. Quit moaning about fate and change. Stand up on your feet and rise. With every fall, you get the pain. You learn the lesson. Start now. Open your eyes. Stop bitching. Grow up. You know, not necessarily that, but it's basically like everybody suffers. Everybody goes through shit. So don't try to make that the whole focus of your living and feel like there's nothing else to life than that. Everybody has to go through pain and difficulties and hardships, trials and tribulations to further and progress in life. So I think that's pretty standard. Then the second stanza gets a little bit tricky because it says dead bodies falling from the sky. We are the ape with the vision of killing. A reign of shame that fills the minds. No other blood in me but mine. 
And in third stanza, time to open your eyes to this genocide. When you clear your mind, you see it all. You're receiving the gold of a better life. When you change yourself, you change the world. Now, that kind of confused me a little bit, but I think it brings it back on the very last line, when you change yourself, you change the world. I think this is basically saying that we, as humans, um, are really individualistic for the most part, depending on what culture you live in and everything. Obviously, the U.S. is very individualistic, and we're all about ourselves for the most part. When, in fact, humanity as a whole is one, and we all should be coming together and changing ourselves to further progress this world and humanity and everything that comes with that. So I think this is what it's getting at. Basically, uh, get over your selfish desires and look out for one another, and maybe you can and your neighbor can help this world in some way that's what I think I'm not entirely sure but obviously when you change yourself you change the world when you change yourself within you have the power to bring something better to this world which then makes it better so uh, that's all I'll say about the lyrics very interesting I thought it was very poetic a couple other things that I'll mention is I like the the stadium sort of cheer that was going on in the background very low and i think it would come in and out i forget in which parts but at the end i'm pretty sure it was very audible it's like a i don't know it just sounds like a stadium chant or something like at a soccer game or football game yeah and then the last couple of things i'll say i love the slow down breakdown part i don't know exactly what it's called the few heavy metal songs that i listen to have this I think it's always a key point in the song that gets you pumped up and everything and the last thing I'll mention is around two minutes in there was that I think it was a guitar solo probably not considered a solo I'm not sure it was more of like a riff but it kind of um kind of sounded like a synth almost but I think it was just two guitars pinned left and right. And just the, between the pedals and everything and the mixing, it kind of morphed into the sound of like a synthesizer in a way. But overall, man, Gojira um, exceeded my expectations. And I'm, I'm kind of glad that it wasn't too heavy to where I can't enjoy it. Um, and at, at least I hope this gives you guys an idea of the the type of songs that I enjoy and the types of songs that I don't typically enjoy. So that way when you recommend stuff down in the in the comments, you don't recommend something that is too extreme because then I most likely won't like it. And maybe I will further on down the line. This is why I wanted to start this channel as well to kind of explore other music avenues that I don't typically do in my free time, my spare time. So this gives me a nice opportunity to sit down with a clear head, just listen to the music, um, get rid of any biases that I might have, and just listen and enjoy. And if I don't enjoy, then I give you my comments. If I do enjoy, then I also give you my thoughts on it. Um, so once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning back in. We are at a thousand subscribers. I can't believe it. Um, 2022 is going to be a great year for the channel. And if you guys would like to join on, on the ride, please do so. Like I said, my Patreon is up. The link will be in the description. Check that out if you're willing to do so. And we'll see you guys next time. Arigato and sayonara.